Good morning, CDT day 115. We're just having a morning fire. I'm toasting some bagels and I got uh, some hot chocolate as well. Jesus made the morning fire, so thank you for that. I also have uh, my beer soaked puffy hanging out to dry and get smoked out so it doesn't smell. Um, last night, one of the beers that I brought with me um, exploded, it had a hole in it, and it leaked all over my puffy. So that's nice. But I have this beautiful view this morning, uh, looking out over the bluff mountains, and valleys, and all that. And then uh, this is our camp last night. Had this beautiful log for uh, seating. Jesus and I were camped over there, Pepsed over here, and behind the trees over there is a girly girl. So we had pretty good windbreak with the trees, really good weather last night, and uh, no complaints, really good sleep. So uh, today we're probably going to do 20, maybe 25 miles. 45 miles. We're going to do 45 miles today. Stay uh, tuned. Stay tuned. All right, so we'll get to hiking pretty soon after breakfast. All right, it is 9.30 a.m. on Thursday, August 22nd. We are on the move, and... Uh, we have an addition to the group as well. We finally uh, got connected with Woj. He just showed up. So now we're in the biggest family I've ever been in. Uh, five people total. So that's cool. Um, I think the most reasonable plan for today, because the border of Yellowstone is about 40 miles away, is to just do like a 19 or 20 today. 20 tomorrow to the border and then from the border to a 26 into uh, Grant Village so Jesus I think is looking more towards 30s uh, to get into Grant in two days but uh, I don't think I can handle two like 32 34 mile days especially starting today at 9 30 in the morning 30 miles alone takes me 12 to 13 hours so I'd be getting there after dark so I'm thinking 20 there's a good campsite about 20 miles ahead so I don't see why not just relax take it easy do a good medium-sized day and uh, enjoy it so I believe that's the plan for now I'm doing a uh, somewhat of a short climb and then we get to go down another short climb and then we go down for a long time it seems this section of trail all the way through Yellowstone is pretty mellow so that's good Time for an unavoidable stream forward, but it looks to be ankle deep, maybe shin deep at worst. I'm more worried about the cold. But since it's the morning, I'm going with some Crocs and some rolled up pants. And the Crocs are indeed in sport mode. So let's see how this goes. I got a feeling I'm about to test out my opera skills. Oh! oh! All right, not too bad, not too bad. Oh. Put this here. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so I, uh, must have looked at the elevation profile this morning a little too quickly because I misinterpreted it. Um, I mean, still mostly mellow, but there are some big climbs today. The uh, first one we're just finishing now was a 900 foot climb. 
but again, it wasn't too bad. It was like three to 400 feet per mile steepness and uh, got that done. But there's, you know, a couple bumps here and there, like I said before, but there's one really big climb coming up. But uh, I think Jesus and I have a plan to just keep walking until dark. And that should put us about halfway up the climb. So we can attack half today, half tomorrow, and that'll make it a bit easier. But it's roughly a 3,000 foot climb. And that in total is one of the top five longest or most elevation change in a climb on the CDT. So it's a big one. Um, we've been traveling the past uh, week or so in a lot lower elevation than usual. In like the sevens sixes even the and then up to the eights and now this uh 3, foot climb is going to put us over 10,000 feet but uh, after that it's almost exclusively down and flat all the way to grand village so jesus and i already have a plan to do this in two days instead of the plan for the rest of the group to do it in three that's going to require about 64 miles in two days um, be a little tough, but today we're going to try to do as many as we can. Probably end up with about like 28 to 30 miles today, which will leave us about 34 um, to maybe like 36 miles tomorrow at most. So um, we'll hit it like that and then try to get to the campground in Grand Village and go from there. But you know, we'll figure that out as we go. For now, we're going down for the next seven to eight miles and then. Uh, we got some flat and then the big climb. Ooh. This is a little sketchy. Watch your step. Okay, here we go. Wow. Hey, we did it. And we got out alive. Yeah, we just reached this evening's camp. Nice flat open area with a little bit of standing dead, but we'll be camping away from most of them. Uh, Jesus got the fire going in a fire pit that's already hanging out here. A little, some benches as well. Real flat. Love it. So the logistics for getting through Yellowstone have been an all-day process with a lot of uh, changes and decisions. Anywhere from doing a 35 today and a 38 tomorrow or whatever. And, and then down to what we are now. I think we did about 20 today. And we're going to be going into Yellowstone tomorrow doing a 35 and then uh, like a 10 into town after that, something like that. Um, the mileages are a little iffy there. But um, anyways, a lot of changes in decision making. And uh, I think we finally come up with a plan that will work decently well. So we're going to hang out here for the night, have a little fire, and get up early tomorrow morning. So we're looking to get up around 4 a.m., out by 5. And uh, let me get some stats for you. All right, today's stats are we hiked 17.3 miles today with an uh, elevation gain of about 2,550 feet. So it's a pretty good amount of climbing for that distance. Um, not a ton of distance today, just uh, um, I personally was feeling pretty tired, so that had a lot to do with it, I'm sure. But um, you know, taking breaks and all that. We're gonna be making up for it the next uh, two days, maybe three days, and getting ourselves into town at a reasonable time. So uh, for now, I'm gonna Finish enjoying this fire. Had some dinner, uh, mashed potato bowl with Vienna sausage as the protein inside. With some brown gravy, some olive oil, some cheese. So tons of carbs, fats, and proteins. Exactly what I need. Um, so tomorrow we will be heading into Yellowstone National Park sometime in the afternoon. So getting excited about that, and also excited about some sleep tonight. So we'll be getting up around 4 a.m. tomorrow. And uh, that's the end of the day. See you tomorrow.